Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with another video and in this video right here, I'm gonna be telling you guys about four high paying side hustles that you can do from anywhere. You do not have to be in one place to do these side hustles. You can do them at home, you can do them at Starbucks, you can do them pretty much from anywhere, okay? And with these side hustles, you can earn anywhere from 20 to $45 hourly, so they're definitely high paying. And you know you can also combine these side hustles and do quite a few of them and make some pretty good money make sure that you guys share this video for anyone looking for legitimate side hustles legitimate work from home also if you're interested in subscribing to my channel definitely go ahead and do that okay so let's go ahead and get into the first side hustle so you can definitely make some good money doing online tutoring of course I've mentioned several different companies that you can do online tutoring with you know I've mentioned education first I've mentioned VIP kid the ones that I just mentioned you would be tutoring children in China and I'll definitely leave any videos that I've done about those I'll leave those on the info card or in the description bar but there are quite a few companies that allow you to tutor children or people that are in the United States okay so one of the companies that has online tutoring jobs is going to be Magoosh and I've mentioned Magoosh a couple of times I really like this company they definitely have a lot of nice work from home jobs slash side hustles that you can do and they pay pretty well okay now right now they do have their online G mat tutor and that is going to pay you $36 hourly that's going to include one-on-one -on -one Skype tutoring sessions and $20 an hour for lesson prep and coordination of sessions and you also have opportunities for advancement and you can be anywhere in the United States as long as you're authorized to work in the United States okay so you'd be tutoring the children via Skype in the verbal math and writing sections of the exam and of course that's going to depend on the student need and you're also going to be communicating with students in between sessions using Zendesk about their progress and their session scheduling you're also going to craft lesson plans based on a student personal strengths and weaknesses and also communicate student progress via written updates to the remote tutoring team and to in-house Magoosh staff. Now for this position you do need to have two plus years of experience as a test prep tutor or teacher, also have excellent writing skills, have a top score on the GMAT, hold a BA or BS and always be plugged in and very responsive online. All you need is a reliable internet connection and a computer with a webcam, which means you can go and tutor in Starbucks or Panera Bread or whatever you chose to do. You need to be able to work a minimum of 15 hours per week. And also they want you to be looking to be with Magoosh for one plus years, okay? Now this one right here, out of all of the tutoring positions that I'm gonna mention, this one is requiring the most experience. All of them are not like that. So we also have Chegg. Chegg also has tutoring jobs and you would be earning $20 an hour, okay? You would work with students on all levels. That's gonna include middle and high school, college and also professionals and you can tutor in your favorite subjects whether that's calculus biology and computer science and you can also tutor in antitrust law voice lessons zoology and there are basically thousands of other subjects that you can tutor in how it works with Chegg is you would select your best subject you're gonna direct students who need help in those subjects to you you can also tutor occasionally or daily it's totally up to you and you can also earn subject bonuses and you can make extra money for tutoring online in high demand subjects. You can tutor from anywhere. As I said before, these side hustles can be done anywhere. And you will also get paid each week, okay? So Chegg is definitely another one that you can sign up for. You can also sign up for tutor.com. They also have tutoring as well. I'm not sure what the pay rate is with tutor.com, but yeah, you can definitely check them out. And the links to both of those will be in the description bar. There'll also be links to all of the other ones that I mentioned, the VIP kid, the education first. You can definitely check those out as well if you're interested, okay? So next up we have transcription. And transcription is definitely a good side hustle and definitely a good way for you to make some extra money and you can do it from anywhere. You can earn between $24 and $45 hourly. Now they do pay you per minute and each transcription company will pay you a different rate per minute. So you can definitely go with who has the highest rate per minute. And from what I'm seeing so far, daily transcription tends to have the highest rates of how much they pay you per minute. So just to give you a little bit of information about daily transcription, 
They do have the flexibility. You can create your own schedule, work where and whenever you want. The assignments come to you. You'd be paid weekly. And it says here that they pay higher rates than their competitors, which would be Rev, Transcribe Me, Scribe and many more. Daily transcription has starting rates of 75 cents to 85 cents per audio minute, okay? You're gonna receive training and feedback and coaching. You're also gonna collaborate with like-minded others and learn from the best. And again, they don't guarantee a specific amount of work per day slash week, but their top transcriptionists make anywhere between $250 and $950 per week, okay? If you do well and you're accurate with transcription, then you can definitely earn more money. So that's totally gonna be up to you, but earning $250 a week, doing a side hustle, that's a thousand dollars a month you know that's rent for a lot of people so it's definitely a very good side hustle to do and this type of position is perfect for mothers fathers students part-time teachers writers those who are involved in academics or anyone who wants to supplement their income and in order to get started you would just go ahead and follow the instructions there and they do also have a frequently asked questions section where you can get a lot of answers to your questions. They do welcome professionals as well as novice and beginners. And you need to have typing skills of at least 50 words per minute, excellent listening skills, a strong mastery of English, and the ability to meet strict deadlines. As far as equipment is concerned, you should have a dependable computer with internet and a transcription software such as Express Scribe, which is free, or otranscribe.com. You also need a pair of good headphones and a foot pedal is not required, but they do recommend that you have one and they definitely give you an example there of the foot pedal that you can use. Now to apply as a transcriptionist, you must reside in the United States or Canada. They will only consider candidates outside the United States and Canada for subtitling, captioner, and translation who are proficient in a second language. And they do pay weekly by check only unless you are outside of the United States or Canada. And you do need to be at least 18 years or older to do this, okay? And this is a 1099 job, meaning you are an independent contractor, you are not an employee, so you will be responsible for your own taxes and all of that stuff, okay? So that is pretty much the gist of it with daily transcription. Now I did list a few other transcription companies here. That's going to be Rev and also Birch Creek Communications and you can definitely check both of those out. However, daily transcription tends to pay the most between those three, okay? Yeah, so, so next up we have mystery shopping and if you're not new to my channel, you guys know that I've mentioned mystery shopping several times, but I've never really talked about how much you really earn hourly with mystery shopping. And I'm just going to go ahead and give you guys that information and also tell you guys about a couple of mystery shopping companies and also some phone mystery shopping companies that I have not mentioned on my channel before. If you're not familiar with what mystery shopping is, it's basically when you go to a place of business and you pose as an actual customer and you're going to evaluate how you're treated, what type of service you get. And of course, what you're evaluating is going to be based on the guidelines that the client puts forth. So of course, you have to study those guidelines and know exactly what you're going to be looking for when you are performing that mystery shop okay so I've been mystery shopping for about seven years now I absolutely love it and the money is very good okay I tend to do mystery shops with banks where I go in and pretend like I'm interested in a new account and I ask them questions and make sure that they're following certain guidelines in reference to you know opening up an account and you know I just make sure that they treat me well and all of that good stuff okay mystery shopping tends to pay about $25 an hour, all right? So let me just show you guys. I can't show you guys the, the business cards and the people's names on them. Every business card that you see here is $15 per shop, okay? And I did all of these in the course of this weekend right here. I've earned several hundred dollars just this weekend from mystery shopping. Now, in order for you to make the most amount of money while mystery shopping, you have to shop a bunch of mystery shops in one area, okay? So you have to really plan your mystery shops out. You can't just be picking one here and picking one there you have to plan them out for example this amount of mystery shops right here was probably done in one area one side of town okay so i would say that when i schedule my mystery shops i schedule them within 10 miles of each other so i'm not using a whole bunch of gas and i'm getting a whole bunch of mystery shops done in a short period of time and this would be one side of town then i'll have a set of others for another side of town a set of others for another side of town, a set of others for another side of town. So that's how you earn like $25 an hour from mystery shopping, okay? You have to be very strategic in how you plan your mystery shops. Definitely schedule a whole bunch 
on one side of town and you know go ahead and knock them all out and you can earn about $25 an hour. So yesterday, I did six mystery shops. I started around 10 o'clock and I finished around one o'clock. That includes drive time. And so that took three hours for me to do six mystery shops and I got paid $15 per shop. So that is a total of $90, which is about $30 an hour, okay? So yeah, it can definitely be very lucrative to do mystery shops. A person could work a job making $10 an hour and they would have to work nine hours to make $90 okay so I made $90 in three hours like I said that includes drive time so technically I had like an hour in drive time so I pretty much made $90 in two hours which is $45 an hour but yeah if you schedule your mystery shops outright then you can earn about $25 an hour but it could be up to $45 an hour as well okay, okay so just to give you guys some information about some of my favorite mystery shopping companies Merit CX is one of my favorite mystery shopping companies they have a lot of banking shops gas station shops and then you can also check out a closer look a closer look has a lot of shops like daycare shops where you pretend like you're interested in your child going to a certain daycare and then you evaluate how you're treated when you go up there to you know inquire about the daycare or sometimes they have you call and get information in reference to the daycare you would evaluate how you're treated so that's a lot of the shops that a closer look has they also have a lot of food shops. I try to stay away from the food shops because I don't want to be eating too much or anything like that so those are some of my favorite mystery shopping companies in terms of shops that you would do outside of the house now there are several companies that offer phone mystery shops as well and one of these companies is called ARC Call Performance Monitoring and they do have call center evaluator mystery shops. Basically with them you will be doing telephone mystery shopping, customer care satisfaction surveys, and competitor analysis calls. If you want a mystery shop but you don't want to leave the house you can definitely check them out for that. Now another company that has phone mystery shops is the company Perception Strategies and I actually signed up with this company but I hadn't performed a shop yet and they do have immediate openings in the following markets. I'll go ahead and leave that up on the screen so that that you guys can check it out and I do believe that they have a lot of shops involving healthcare so you can definitely check them out and last but not least we have Yardy Matrix and currently Yardy Matrix is looking for individuals to sign up for the fall 2019 rent surveys and with the rent surveys you would be calling apartment complexes and asking certain questions and conducting surveys as a renter and as far as pay is concerned, you're gonna be paid $6 per hour and a piece rate of 50 cents for surveys marked done, 30 cents for surveys marked wrong number, 20 cents for surveys marked part done, and seven cents for surveys marked answering machine or no answer. You're gonna receive at least minimum wage in your jurisdiction for all hours worked. However, you can earn more depending on your speed and efficiency. And again, they are hiring currently for the fall 2019 rent surveys. The rent surveys are gonna begin on Monday, August 26th. So if you're interested in applying, definitely go ahead and do so. And to apply for the fall 2019 survey, you're gonna email Sean Tilton with a copy of your current resume and his email is right there, okay? The companies that I just mentioned are definitely some pretty good phone mystery shopping companies. You know, if you don't wanna interact with people, you don't wanna leave the house, or you wanna be able to mystery shop anywhere you go, you can definitely check these out, okay? Okay guys, so last but not least, another side hustle that you can do from anywhere, and this is a side hustle that I'm considering getting into as well, and this is gonna be a side hustle as an online coach, okay? So if you have something that you're really good at and you're very knowledgeable about, there are people that are gonna be willing to pay you for that information. Like me, for example, you guys always ask me questions about resumes, you guys always ask me questions about you know how to really snag a work from home job and you know I really try to help you guys but you know I can't really just help everybody individually like that so I was actually considering starting to become an online coach and that is something that I definitely would have to charge for because it's going to be taking away from my other side hustles but there are people that are willing to pay you for information and willing to pay you to help them to get to the next level in whatever it is that they're trying to do now some of my favorite online coaches or business coaches would be Vanessa Lau here on YouTube. She's definitely really good. She, you know, helps people to, you know, take their businesses to the next level and things like that. Also, Sean Cannell, he's good here on YouTube as well. He can help you with your YouTube channel and getting started, the best equipment to use. And also Tim Schmoyer, he's also good as well with 
helping you in reference to YouTube, you know, how to get good views and all of those types of things. But there are several different business coaches, online coaches in different areas that can give you knowledgeable information and work with you individually and help people. Okay. So if that's something that you're good at, like if you have something that you're good at and you know that you can help people and you know that your information is valuable, you can definitely start charging people for that information and make that money and, you know, have it as another side hustle. Okay. So I'm considering starting helping people with their resumes and also helping people to tailor their resumes so that they can get a work from home job and also offering people personalized options that can help them with work from home jobs as well. So that's something that I'm kind of considering doing and working on I just don't really know how much I would charge and all of that good stuff okay so yeah whatever it is that you're good at you're passionate about and you know that that information is valuable and you don't want to just give it all away for free you can definitely start an online coaching business or an online coaching side hustle and work with people that are going to be willing to pay you for that information okay so yeah these are all of the side hustles that I have for you guys today Again, all information that I mentioned will be in the description bar for you. Also, again, make sure that you share this video. And also, if this video has been helpful to you, leave me a comment down below. You guys always know that I appreciate you so much for watching. And I will see you guys in my next video.